Joel Osteen has endured plenty of criticism throughout his career. The toothy preacher has come under fire for everything from his physical appearance to his spiritual beliefs to his lack of theological training. However, in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, the Houston, Texas-based pastor attracted a lot of heat for allegedly not doing enough to help. Here's a look at the shady side of Joel Osteen. Hurricane Harvey in August 2017, Osteen faced enormous criticism for not opening his Lakewood church, which can house 16,800 people, to serve as a shelter after Hurricane Harvey devastated Houston, Texas, and left many homeless. Osteen's reps posted on Facebook on Monday, August 28, 2017, that the church was inaccessible due to flooding and directed people in need to other shelters in the area. But TMZ responded with allegations that the church was actually bone dry. That led to an outcry against Osteen, with many taking to social media to bash the pastor for his actions. According to CNN, by Wednesday, August 30th, the church was open to refugees, but skeptics charged even that was just a public relations move to ward off further criticism. Osteen, of course, refuted that. We were waiting for the right time. Really, Lakewood is always open. We just didn't necessarily have staff here the night that it flooded out here. Pass the collection plate. In January 2015, New York attorney Richard Garbarini told the National Enquirer that despite listing Lakewood Church as a nonprofit, Osteen is leveraging the church as a money-making vehicle. The church pays to air his sermons, which are just de facto infomercials to promote his books. The Lakewood Church is a shell to funnel people to his website so he can sell his books. Daniel Borokov, head of Charity Watch, concurred, telling the tabloid, a nonprofit needs to be acting in the public interest and not in the private personal business interests of Joel Osteen. The church should benefit from the royalties of these books when they are shouldering at least some of the cost of promoting them. If it isn't getting something back, it ought to be. It's too much a promotional vehicle for him. Osteen and Lakewood Church denied the allegations, telling the Inquirer that Garbarini's claims were false and baseless, adding, For more than 50 years, Lakewood Church has adhered to the highest standards of honesty and integrity. Can't we all just get along? The leaders of other megachurches condemned white supremacists and racist attitudes after an August 2017 neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville, Virginia left one woman dead and several others injured. Osteen kept noticeably mum. His only commentary on the incident, and on the topic as a whole, was a vague Facebook post that read, One of the biggest challenges we all face is getting along with people because everyone is different. We have different personalities, different temperaments, we come from different backgrounds. When somebody doesn't agree with us or not doing what we like, it's easy to get in conflict with them, to argue, to try to straighten them out, to prove our point. No, you have to be the bigger person. Just because they're doing wrong doesn't mean you have to engage. Christian commentators took him to task, calling his injunction not to confront evil passive. Courting Controversy in 2005, Osteen got himself in trouble with the faithful during an interview with Larry King where he seemed to imply atheists and people of other faiths might end up in heaven despite their beliefs. He said, I don't know if I believe they're wrong. I believe here's what the Bible teaches and from the Christian faith, this is what I believe. I'm going to let God be the judge of who goes to heaven and hell. I believe it's a relationship with Jesus. But you know what? I'm not going to go around telling everybody else if they don't want to believe that, that's going to be their choice. Osteen later issued a public apology to his flock, writing a letter that read in part, It was never my desire or intention to leave any doubt as to what I believe and whom I serve. I believe that Jesus Christ alone is the only way to salvation. However, it wasn't until I had the opportunity to review the transcript of the interview that I realized I had not clearly stated that having a personal relationship with Jesus is the only way to heaven. It's about the individual's choice to follow him. Osteen got himself embroiled in another controversy in 2011, though, when he told Piers Morgan that while he believes homosexuality is wrong, it's not really that big of a deal. I've always believed, Piers, the scripture shows that it's a sin. But, you know, I'm not one of those that are out there to bash homosexuals and tell them that they're terrible people and all that. When pressed during a later CNN interview to clarify his stance, he doubled down on controversy, saying being straight is not a choice, but being gay is still a sin. So it seems like in Christianity, sometimes we categorize sin. I mean, pride is a sin. Being critical is a sin. Being negative is a sin. We say so, okay, homosexuality is not so bad, right? Well, I, I don't think it's God's best. Osteen's careful attempts at not offending anyone, however, only drew more criticism from all sides. Live and learn. Trouble in Paradise 
In March 2017, Radar Online reported that Osteen and Lakewood Church were being sued by a family accusing a church staff member of body slamming their baby girl. Court documents obtained by the site claim that in May 2014, a representative of the church grabbed a child safety seat housing Victoria Wedderburn, a minor, and threw the seat off the church pew. Victoria landed face first on the floor while still strapped to the safety seat, causing serious bodily injury and extensive mental and emotional damage. Osteen's attorneys claimed the incident that made the basis of this suit was caused by the actions of third parties over whom the Osteens had no control. Osteen also claimed the church and its employees had no liability for the incident based on the Charitable Immunity Act. The church reportedly settled with the Wedderburn family for $15,000, despite asserting it had no wrongdoing and that the claims were entirely made up. The Mark of the Beast Finally, it's not easy being righteous. Osteen found that out the hard way when he was accused by the faithful of collaborating with the devil. The supposed blasphemy occurred when Osteen attended his son's graduation from the University of Texas. Osteen and his son posed for a photo flashing the school's famous Hook'em Horn sign, which references the university's Longhorn mascot. Some Christians, however, thought Osteen was pledging his allegiance to Satan by using a devil sign, with a demonic signal revealing Osteen's true colors. You know what they say, tweet them all and let God sort them out. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.